All right, so here's another great story. What if drinking alcohol makes you look better looking? Well, one Japanese brewery is claiming their new beer can Works improve your skin. <laughs> one of the beer's ingredients is collagen. <laughs> Joining us now to break it all down is Dr. Deborah Jalaman. She's a dermatologist in New York City. So are there <laughs> any confirmed benefits to this product, this idea? Because I drink a lot of beer, so I'm wondering if it's going to work. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> but right you can keep drinking your beer. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it'll help your skin. No. A little sunscreen might help you more. Really? All right. Yeah. So how is it supposed to work? They, yeah. they infuse the collagen in the beer, and how is it supposed to help your skin? So basically, collagen makes collagen for your skin. So it's the protein in the beer. So what they did is they put a few grams of protein into their beer, and they say that by drinking it, it's going to make you more collagen. But you could also eat a couple of eggs in the morning or have some Greek yogurt, and that would give you the same protein to make collagen for and your skin. And better for your waistline. Better for your waistline. And also, there's <laughs> another thing, is that alcohol dehydrates the skin. So we don't like that at all. And doctor, is it, so the question I think a lot of people have is, is applying collagen to the face better than ingesting it? Which, which is the better method? Well, it's interesting because collagen is a very big molecule, so it doesn't penetrate into our skin. And the only way that we can get collagen into our skin is to really ingest it. In the old days, we used to inject collagen into the skin, but now that's taken off the market, and now we inject hyaluronic acid, and that's a way to plump the skin as well. So you mentioned there are healthy alternatives, such as just eating eggs, for exactly. example. What are some other foods that you can do? This? Well, anything that has a high protein content, will be making protein for your skin, which will make your collagen. But it's also good to eat fruits and vegetables because they're high in antioxidants, and we know that's also beneficial for the skin. Uh, we know that products like these are hugely successful in Asia. Uh, do you see something like this being popular here in the U.S.? I don't think so. Really? Because no. everybody's all about like trying to find new methods, new beauty secrets, and you don't think that this could be... I've heard a lot of crazy things in my time. I have too. And yeah. people certainly take collagen supplements and collagen powders, and you can do that, and you can put that in your smoothie. But I think... A collagen smoothie? A collagen smoothie. <laughs> you can certainly make wow. that. First thing in the morning, just drink it. But, you know, you can certainly eat foods that are high in protein, and that's great for your skin. And it's very important to have a balanced diet. And, you know, you want to do everything healthy for your skin. You know, use your sunscreen, exercise, eat well, certainly. And, you know, I and mean, there's also a lot of great beauty treatments that you can go to to your dermatologist and make your skin look young as well. All right, Dr. Jolliman, thanks for stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you.